that's right, in front of a cupcake uh, shop where I have to wait for my bus to go home from work. And I am not craving it one bit. Stay tuned to find out why. I really hate daylight savings time because it is like 6 o'clock and it is so dark. Anyways, hopefully you can hear me. It's really busy in Hyde Park, my neighborhood. Even though it's dark like night. So I mentioned in my um, other segment how I don't have cravings for sugar like I did before. But why? Why is that? Even I wasn't so sure. I did keto carnivore and although it reduced my... Um, binging episodes and sugar cravings, I still had them. Even with um, my fast, um, my shorter fast, my 16-8, even with OMAD, which I used to think was long, and maybe it's long for you, but it, when I think about it now, I needed something longer. But why? Um, I listened to a really good podcast, and I'll put the link down. I truly believe the extended fast of um, 40, 42 hours was what really finally did it for me. And now I think I could go back to OMAD and be fine. Um, so the podcast was uh, Chantel Ray's Waste Away, and she had, uh, um, excuse me, I'm looking because I'm crossing the street while I'm doing this. Okay, I'm fine. Um, with Glenn Livingston, he wrote a book called Never Binge Again, which I have. Really good book. He does say some things that some people might think are a little uh, on PC, <laughs> like controlling your pig. Um, but just get it. Trust me, it's really good. Um, and there's so many things to unpack um, within that podcast. And I'm definitely going to talk about it again. But there's one thing he said about when you face your cravings. When you give in to your cravings, you're reinforcing that behavior. And every time you have a craving and deny it, you are extinguishing that behavior. So with a longer fast, I had a lot of time to extinguish that behavior. I had a, I was having a lot of practice extinguishing that behavior um, in a way that even when I was doing um, my OMAD, I didn't. And eventually my craving switched um, from sugar to, I want some liver, I want some oysters. It's just crazy to think that that is what I want now. That is what I love. And I can go past sugary substances and not want them at all. Um, I truly believe I have extinguished those cravings thanks to fasting. Anyways, that's about it. Um, stay tuned for um, my drink of the day and a little bit of my training from Visual Impact Kettlebells. Check out the link. And if you want to purchase it, buy it through that link. <laughs> and uh, my meal. Um, so yes, um, anyways, it is um, November the 9th. I don't know if I said that earlier. I didn't really, no, I didn't, I didn't video tip anything on the 8th. There was just so much stuff going on. And, the world, this country, um, and I was just enjoying the beautiful Chicago day yesterday, and I didn't tape anything, um, so, anyways, yesterday I fasted the whole day, um, drank my coffee, some tea water, read a newspaper, and just enjoyed the weird, warm Chicago weather, um, but again, that's enough of me rambling, stay tuned. And hmm, last uh, meal I had bull testicles, amongst other things. What will the mystery meat be today? Find out. Bye-bye.
Thanksgiving hasn't even arrived, but I do love my holiday teas and I love them as a fasting treat. 45 hours fasted and I am about to do my workout. Okay, I actually already did 25 minutes of Visual Impact Kettlebells Phase 2, a really good workout program. Um, so uh, here is a little snippet of it, not the whole thing. Uh, I'm not going to give it away for free, not fair to the creators of the program. Um, but really good to go with the uh, fasting regimen. And it, it's progressive. The first uh, four weeks was uh, nice and easy. Now it's getting a little bit harder. So check out the link if you are interested in getting visual impact kettlebells listed below in the description. Time to break my fast. What will today's mystery meat be? Today's mystery meat of November 9th is eel, cooked in the slow cooker. Here is the eel on the left side, plated with three eggs and um, on the top of the plate is lamb liver. You have to try lamb liver. If you don't like lamb, if you don't like liver, try lamb liver. I found it so tender, or maybe it's just the way I cook it. Really good. Purchased at a farmer's market. And for dessert, some people have ice cream. I had French goose roulette with foie gras. I'm not sure I am saying this right. I also bought this at a Cyrano's on the go, a vendor at the 61st Street Farmer's Market. It was so creamy, so delicious. If it wasn't so expensive, I'd buy it all the time.